Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you three ChatGPT prompts that will transform your Google business profile forever. Watch this. I could just imagine all the calls I would have gotten from you, Darren, in the middle of the, of the night telling me how great ChatGPT was and all the things you were, you were doing with it. Everything that I do, my man, I, I think about you and I think about the discussions that you and I would have had, you know, regarding these new technologies, man. I really miss you and I love you. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. So this is where we want to rank. We want to rank right here in the Google three pack. This is going to really accelerate your leads, the amount of phone calls you get in the end, it's going to help you make more money. So you want to be here in the Google three pack. That's why you're watching this video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how chat GPT can help you with that. So unless you've been living under a rock or you don't know what I'm speaking about, chat GPT is your brain. Like I say, uh, like I've said in my videos many times before, I was in Mr. Brown's class in high school, which meant that uh, I, was I was with people who weren't very interested in learning, right? I knew one day something was gonna take over and I didn't need all that, all that schooling. And sure enough, here comes chat GPT uh, uh, 45 years later right? So I'd like you to go over to OpenAI if you haven't gone already down and, and just click uh, learn more about ChatGPT4. You could sign up for free. However, I have the paid plan. So I never, I never have any traffic, meaning that I have to wait for other people to get on and get off before I get on. So it's $20 a month. I think it's a great investment, but uh, I don't have any... Um, I don't have any uh, uh, commissions with it. Not, the ChatGPT isn't sponsoring this. That's what I'm trying to say. So we're trying to rank here in the Google three pack. Here's the first tip. Here's what I'd like you to do. Now, this is a prompt I'd like you to do. I'd like you, once you sign up for ChatGPT, whether you have the free plan or the paid plan, all right, generate a list of keywords and phrases to optimize a Google business profile for a I'm using moving company, uh, moving business in Tampa Bay. Substitute whatever business this is for yours. And I live in Tampa Bay, but you may live in Chicago or uh, a small town in Chicago. Don't do the whole state. Like I didn't say, I didn't say a moving company in Florida, right? I, I picked a small section of Florida, which is Tampa Bay. Wherever you Google my business is registered, that's where you that's the town you put in, right? If you're located in Orlando, put Orlando. But if you're outside Orlando and you're in Winter Garden, and even though you think Winter Garden is Orlando because everybody says it, but you know you're not, put Winter Garden because it's going to be a hard. It's going to it's going to be very hard ranking you. Okay, so we put the name of the town and we put the uh, we put the uh, industry that we're in and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look these are all winners here so we're just going to pick five like Tampa Bay moving company or professional movers in Tampa Bay I saw another couple of good ones uh, specialty movers like uh, piano movers in Tampa Bay if you're if your company does that, best moving company in Tampa Bay, just pick affordable movers in Tampa, just pick five. Now, can you pick all 20 that it suggests? You certainly can. The problem is you need a page for each one of these keywords, and then you need to, uh, you need to create a plan for each one of these keywords. When you're first starting, you eat the elephant from the ears, not the butt right? Don't bite off more than you could, than you can chew. Start with five keywords and attack each one of those keywords separately. So where you're going to get your keywords from is from chat GPT. It's a fast way of generating high quality uh, keywords to rank in, in Google business profile, otherwise known as Google maps. Guys, if you're getting value out of this, please hit the subscribe button and please hit the like button. Share it with your friends. Thanks, guys.
So step number two is to create a uh, Google business profile post. You want to create a post. So it's real simple to do. So I'm just asking um, uh, ChatGPT to generate a Google business profile description for a moving company located in Tampa Bay. This description I'll be able to use for a, a Google post. I could have said Google post also. All right. So it is creating this Google um, GMB post is Google business profile post and please excuse me I still call it Google my business I know it's called Google business profile but I still call city field Shea so it takes me a while to get used to things so you notice that it is it is adding services in and it's adding um, it's adding locations I saw something about st. Petersburg some here yeah, right here right so all I'm going to do is, is copy this. Very simple. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to come over to my Google business profile. Now you need to be signed into your account, right? So I'm signed into my, I'm using the MindSaw account. So this way I don't mess up any of my customers. So I'm using the MindSaw account. And you are just going to come right over here where it says uh, uh, edit, add an update right here on the bottom left and you just click that you see where it says post update to your customers on Google post updates to your customers on Google right here right on the top you just click that and I am just going to paste in that description see that and then I could put a little like uh, call now and then I am going to find the relevant picture for moving. And I'll add that into the photos right here. So I'll just uh, get a moving photo and I'll post it. Then I'll preview it and I'll post it. So, it's, so that's real simple. All right, guys. So that is what you want to do. You want to do your Google business profile posts. You want to get all the text from... Um, from ChatGPT because it's going to put not only your city, not only your services, but surrounding services, okay? Uh, surrounding cities, I'm sorry. Surrounding cities, so that, that's really, really good. Okay, guys, so the last thing you wanna do is create a review response, meaning that uh, somebody left you a review and you just don't wanna say thanks or it was nice doing business with you. You wanna really put some thought into writing a nice review. Now, a lot of people ask me, does adding the keywords or the city to your review response help uh, rank in the Google, uh, Google business profile, Google Maps? And, and my answer is no. However, um, you have to remember something that uh, your prospective clients are looking through reviews. Not only are they looking through reviews, they're also looking uh, for your response. So I think it's very thoughtful to, to, to lay out a thoughtful uh, response, right? And, and it can hurt by adding in the keywords. I don't think it helps, but it can hurt. So let's do this. So somebody gave us a great review for a moving company. So I'm going to say to ChatGPT, I'm going to say create a customer review response for a moving company in Tampa Bay. You could be an electrician in New Jersey, in Elizabeth, New Jersey, right? You get the idea on Google Business Profile. So somebody left us a review and we are now we are now writing a review response to that review isn't that great thank you so much for the time for taking the time to leave us a fantastic review on google business profile we're, we're thrilled to hear that our moving team exceeded your expectations right now this may not do anything for uh, your rankings, but it is going to do something because your clients or people, uh, prospective clients, read reviews. They also read your response. This is a lot better than just putting thank you, right? Look at that great response. Look at that great response. So after you get a review, you reply to the review. You just take this, dear Brett, that's my name, right? Thank you very much. Warm, warm regards. Tom Smith, CEO of Tampa Moving Company. 
let's just say, right? Just copy this and you and you add it to your, your review, okay? Guys, I hope this helped you. Those are three really good, um, really good tips using chat gpt i try not to overwhelm you meaning that i try not to give you the real hard stuff first i'm just getting you used to chat gpt and as the time goes on we'll do things that are a little more complicated but in the beginning man you know just just get used to it get used to using it i do suggest that you get the paid version uh because you don't have to wait to get online it's twenty dollars per month if you could afford that you know definitely get that i think it's really good it helps you it can help you with just about anything right so guys as i always say and this is really important is that is that you you, you know we don't know like like you know my friend darren when, when he passed away i was in such shock when he passed away you know i i didn't know that he was going to go that day uh, we had just spoke the night before and you know um it's just good to be nice to people, right? Just let stuff go. Be good to your wife. Be good to your husband. Be good to your kids, right? Treat them right. Do the little things. Clean up around the house. Say thank you. Say you're welcome when somebody says thank you, right? It's just the little things. And I know it's tough because you're dealing with clients. You know, you have a moving company and, you know, a person wants their money back and now you come home and you have problems with that. And, you know, it's easy to you know, take it out on your family. But 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 please don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. They're two separate entities, right? Your your home life is your home life. Your, your business is your business. And even though your wife or your husband may help you in your business, it's two separate things. Please always keep uh, mindful of separating the two, your business and your home life, even if your partner works with you, right? Separate the two and, and be good to your kids, man. That's the that's the most important thing, man. I have two, uh, two, two boys, they're 23 and 25, and I gotta say that I've always, I was always great to them. I was always a great dad to them, and uh, it's paying off now. So hopefully one day I won't have to work anymore, and they could take care of dad. You know, I was always good to them. So be good to your kids, and be good to your wife and your husband, and uh, everything else. I promise you, everything else is gonna fall into place. Guys, have a great time. Great day, rather, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.